Hi friends, today we'll configure an SSH key, secure shell key, on our GitHub account in order to manage our remote repositories securely through Secure Shell. In the previous video, we covered personal access tokens as a way of authentication but using Secure Shell Key is a better option, which we'll cover now. I'm still using my CentOS 8 VM, but as mentioned before, I'll choose an alternative soon due to the end-of-life support of CentOS 8. It's possible that your local user profile already has a Secure Shell Key assigned to it. In order to check that, we search for any files under .ssh directory within the user profile. You can enter this command from any directory. If you see any files with these formats, then you have Secure Shell keys configured and you could use them for GitHub or create new ones. And if .ssh directory does not exist in your profile, then you don't have any keys. Based on the file name, you can see which type of key it is. But using the command line, you can find this out more exactly by using the following command. The best option is to use ed25519. Even though some other variants are still good, it's best to be future-proof. I'm going to clear out the entire .ssh directory and recreate my key. Now let's create a new Secure Shell key. Use the following command to create a ED25519, which is the most recommended Secure Shell key algorithm today. Dash T option tells which type of key to generate. And dash capital C is a comment, for which we'll use email address. The comment part is only to identify who created the key and is not mandatory. Then you will be prompted to enter the file to save the key to. Just press return to choose the default. Next, enter a phrase. This finishes the creation process of your secure shell key. If you look inside the .ssh folder, you'll see two new files named id underscore ed25519, which is your private key, and id underscore ed25519.pub, P-U-B, which is the public key. The most important part of this video is to be aware that you're, you never share your private key with anyone. Your private key remains in that folder and you don't touch it. If your private key is compromised, then anyone can log into your systems where the public key is whitelisted and authenticate as you. The public key can be shared with anyone, for example in GitHub, in order to authenticate, which is what we'll do next. Copy the content of your public key to your clipboard. Then go to GitHub, select your account icon, then Settings, then Secure Shell and GPG Keys, press New Secure Shell Key, provide a title, paste your public key into the field, blow it and press Add Secure Shell Key. The repository which I created in my videos about Git was set up using HTTPS, which you can check by entering git remote-v. In order to use Secure Shell Key, we need to change the URL. Open your repo on GitHub. Under Code, select SSH and copy the URL to your clipboard. 
now go to your command line and use the next command to change the repo URL now if you do git remote dash v you'll see that the URL is changed in order to authenticate yourself with a remote repo you need to add your secure shell key to the secure shell agent start the agent with the eval command then add your private key with the following command and enter your passphrase the private key is the one without an extension the public key ends with dot pop now if you do a git pull it will try to update your repo using secure shell authentication instead of personal access token you'll also get a warning whether you're sure that you want to connect to github with that IP address press yes and it will add to your known hosts which means th that this message will not reappear next time but every time you reboot you'll need to redo the steps for starting the agent and adding the key in order to automate that process you can add the following script to your bash profile which I found on Stack Overflow I'm using Vim as an CLI editor to edit bash profile if you're not familiar with Vim watch my videos on the subject or use nano if we do git pull we are still prompted for passphrase but reload your patch profile with source command and it will ask your passphrase only once during boot up hope you enjoyed this video about secure shell authentication using secure shell key and i hope to see you in the next video